What's up guys, this is Coach Grant with First Down Training and today we're gonna talk about the proper way quarterbacks should be throwing a goal line fade. All right guys, so the first thing I wanna get into when we're throwing a goal line fade is that our feet need to be fast. Our feet is the most important thing, especially if we're in gun. If we're in gun, we catch this snap, all we gotta do is pop our feet fast and get the ball up right now because this throw is a spot throw, okay? If it's not a jump ball, we're gonna get into the jump ball later, but right now we're talking about a spot throw. We're aiming for that back corner of the end zone. So we're here, catch this snap, catch eyes, Get my feet set right now. My feet set has to be fast. And especially if it's going to the right, catch. I gotta flip my feet all the way around, get my left hip on this target so I can get the ball up and down because this receiver is a goal line. He's not just gonna run to the back corner, okay? Because this guy's DB is probably gonna be pressing him. I don't know too many DBs that are gonna play seven yards off when it's a goal line situation. So he's gonna be making a move off the line and then he's gonna have to get up and get some separation fast because we're putting that ball into the back corner of the end zone. But now it's so important that we put air on that and we're gonna get into that later. But the most important thing is your feet. You gotta catch this snap, get your feet set fast, get the ball up and down. And same thing, if I'm under center, right? I'm under center here, catch, whether it's a three-step drop where I'm just one, two, three, or if it's just a left, right, I get set left, right, I need my feet set fast. Guys, feet are the most important thing when throwing a goal line fade. All right, guys, so now we're going to talk about what if it is a jump ball situation, and it's not a spot throw where we're throwing this thing to the back corner. What if we do? What if our guy doesn't get any separation, but he outmans the DB? Only thing we got to do, same thing, our feet got to be fast. We just got to give our guy a chance, okay? Too many guys, when their receiver's a head taller than the DB, they'll try to throw a back shoulder, or they'll try to throw it to a spot when the DB's covering him. That's not what we want. All we got to do is give our guy a chance because the DB doesn't know what we're doing, okay? The DB doesn't know when the ball's coming. He might see it, whatever. But if our guy's bigger and we throw it above the rim, like we're throwing him a lob, he's going up for a dunk, we just gotta throw this thing above the rim for our receiver and he could go up, he could time it and go get it. But the most important thing is we have to give him a chance. If we try to be too perfect with this ball, we put too much, we don't put enough air on it. We gotta put almost like a two ball that we're gonna talk about in a second, get this thing up and down right now so our receiver has a chance to go get it. I like our guys better than their guys. Let's give him a chance. Let's put the ball up in the air right now. Let him go get it. All right, guys, now we're going to talk about the three different types of throws, okay? The one ball is a ball on a line. That's like a dig, and you're just ripping this thing right into the defense. This two ball is the spot throw that I was talking about, okay? The two ball is a throw. There's a one, two, and a three ball. The three ball is like we're throwing a deep fade. We got to get this thing up, let our guy go get it. This two ball is the ball that I want right now when we're in the red zone and we're throwing a fade, okay? If you can get this down, there's not a DB in the world that can defend a perfect throw. There's not a defense forward perfect throw. So if we get this thing up right now, a two ball, this is a one ball, this is a three ball, a two ball is right in the middle. Drop this thing in the corner of the end zone, there's a big bucket. We wanna drop this thing right in the bucket. That comes from our shoulders being on a 45, we rotate through, flick our wrists like we're shooting a basketball shot, and then our receiver go run right to the corner and catch this thing, guys. So on a goal line fade, Feet are super important. If it's a jump ball, give our guy a chance, and we gotta throw a two ball, guys. Gotta drop it right in that bucket, let our guy go get it. All right, guys, I really wanna thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe to this channel, and please leave any questions you guys got in the comments. I'll make sure to get back to you. I really appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you next time.